So the overall energy I'm getting from this read is someone could view you as beautiful. Something could turn violent. Um, something was not intended to be read or seen, and now somebody feels like a fool. So somebody could have came across somebody um, that had some sort of documentation, pictures, something. Um, they could have been looking you up. There was something that somebody thought was beautiful, but it could have turned violent. Someone definitely feels like a fool because they came across something they were not supposed to read. It could have been some sort of communication, some text messages, um, some DMs, you know, um, Facebook messages. Something definitely um, could have taken a really bad turn because somebody read something that they were not meant to see. So somebody was keeping a secret, trying to keep something hidden. So somebody had some bad intentions, some stinging jellyfish intentions here, and they were being cunning. So they were hiding their intentions, their personality. They were being two-faced. They were trying to be slick with some sort of intention that they had. This could be somebody who entered into a relationship or a partnership with somebody, but they may not have intended to stay with them or somebody was being used. Somebody could have been always out looking for like the bigger, better deal kind of situation. And so an altercation could have broken out, things could have gone physical, or there could have at least been um, a verbal altercation between a couple. Because somebody saw something, and whoever saw this, they were very insecure anyway, um, possibly with themselves or about their relationship or situation. And so things ended up taking a really bad turn after this person saw whatever this was that they were not intended to see. So somebody could have went through someone's phone. Somebody has an addiction, a problem with addiction, gambling, or bad finances. So somebody could have been spending money on something they shouldn't have. Um, this could also be somebody who's addicted to you, divine, femme, or masculine, because they can't move on. They cannot move on from you. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. So someone cannot give it up. Someone cannot move on. And um, the person who saw this communication is realizing that, that whoever the person that they're with, they don't want to be attached to them or they're not committed to them because they can't move on from a divine femme or masculine. So whatever this person had in their possession or on their phone, whatever this is, on their tablet, internet, whatever, um, <clears throat> you were connected to that person before someone is expecting you could be expecting something where this person is expecting a run-in or um to come across you run into you or communicate to you you could be expecting someone to communicate maybe you've been feeling it energetically or this person who came across um this um communication could be pregnant or expecting to give birth so um, they could be really hurt. They could be feeling betrayed by whatever this is <clears throat> that's happening. Maybe they can't believe their eyes, their ears, whatever it is they saw or heard. Uh, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Someone is lying and someone is spying. <laughs> so we have someone is lying, someone's spying. Someone's cold-hearted. Um, you know, very... Um, they're not thinking logical. So there's the Queen of Swords who's not thinking logical. Um, someone spying on another person. It could be spying on you, Divine Femme or Masculine, because they want to be with you, or because they know somebody else wants to be with you. But someone is spying. Someone's lying. Someone's lying about spying as well. Oh, they really didn't think they were going to get caught. Yeah, somebody wants to be compassionate to you and possibly give you the wand, give you a gift, be, you know, caring to you. They've been spying, they've been watching you. And this has somebody, a uh, king of cups, this has somebody very um, upset about this. This queen of swords. They're definitely not happy, yeah. Because somebody didn't want to work on a ten of cups with them. And someone's not putting forth the work. Justice is being restored. There's conflict. Um, the Queen of Swords, some sort of lie that this Queen of Swords told, it could have been the cause of a lot of conflict with the, within a group of people or a community. And then we have a King of Cups here. And uh, the Knight of Swords, someone rushed in with some sort of lie, and it caused a whole shit storm. 
Uh, there's a King of Cups who could be fighting a lot of battles, um, you know, trying to defend themselves against a lot of attacks. So this group could have found out that they were lied to. But the reason this person could have lied is because they came across some sort of communication or they found out they found out this King of Cups wants to go towards um, somebody else. So things got violent. Someone's a gold digger, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody just wanted money to steal money from someone. So this feminine energy is a liar. They're a gold digger. They just wanted time, money, energy, resources. They're very draining. They're very greedy, bottomless pit energy. There could be an investigation going on that's going to bring justice for someone here. This King of Cups could have been watching and trying to find out how someone is defending themselves. Because this Queen of Swords um, could have had a whole group of people attacking this person, a community that had turned their backs on someone here. And... Uh, it could have it was all based on lies and this person's trying to figure out how you are defending yourself and why you have to defend yourself but you're a star you have divine protection that's how you're able to defend yourself and balance is being restored so somebody broke some karmic or secular laws here something is moving forward for you um, because somebody caused an imbalance, so something is going to end up working in your favor because someone tried to stop you from moving um, or something moving for you. Someone was trying to place barriers in your path to keep you stuck and stagnant. Justice, someone's in despair here because you are going to get justice. This Queen of Pentacles knows they're not going to get some sort of money or something from you. They also know that a tower moment's coming because someone has changed. Something is changing here. Um, someone could be a parental figure. Someone has grown up. Someone has matured. And you have money coming towards you. So if this person knew that you had money coming towards you um, and you've matured, this is really devastating for this person because they know that there is a masculine energy that uh, may be admiring you or watching you and may want to help you out because they know you're a good person. Ace of Swords, somebody told a very big lie. A whole group of people could have been lied to or told a lie. And this caused heavy burdens with the Ten of Wands here. So you've had to have like a lot of perseverance and strength to get through this. Because you had a whole group of people attacking you based on lies. All because this gold digging ass biatch wanted some money. So they, this person wanted to get a lot of finances. They're scrambling to come together to try to figure out what to do. But there's so much conflict amongst them because of this lie they could be scrambling to figure out how to get this money or what to do because they're finding out they're not going to get this money yeah someone's not getting a clean slate because they were not held in high honor someone was very uh, shady when it came to practices dealing with people this is somebody who's very cold-hearted they only wanted to get something they're very greedy, and this group of people, um, they, they were in on something, they could feel like a fool, they could feel like an idiot for listening to some sort of lies here, they're upset because they were lied to, because <clears throat> somebody got a message of truth, some sort of truth, there was a message that somebody saw that revealed the truth about a situation, about somebody possibly just wanting to attack you, just break up a home, cause dissension, or they got the message that because of whatever they did to get this money caused a split up of a home or a disruption within a home with the Ten of Cups. Somebody just wanted to make you miserable. They didn't want you to have a happy family. Someone's all up in their feelings and emotions. The Nine of Cups here. Oh, man. Okay. So, somebody... There was a group of people here talking, gossiping, lying, slandering about a house. So somebody could have tried to rip you off about a house. Um, there was something regarding a two of cups situation where somebody may have gotten kicked out of a house. They could have been talking why you got kicked out of a house or why you had to leave a house, why you didn't get a house, why you lost a house. And there were lies surrounding this and the truth could be coming out about this because you have victory you've been working on something because you're abundant someone's not getting a clean slate because they didn't come towards you with an offer and then we have the king of pentacles so 
Oh, shit. This King of Pentacles could have been married to this Queen of Pentacles. And um, they could have had their friend helping out in some sort of way. Or it could be the same person. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles could be the same person. Or the Queen of Pentacles could be the wife or significant other of this King of Pentacles who worked with a lying ass Queen of Swords to make your life an absolute hell because this um, one of these females, which I'm assuming would be the Queen of Pentacles here, came across um, some sort of communication or something that they weren't supposed to see that this King of Pentacles, this, um, you know, financially well-off masculine um, was admiring you. They, they think you're beautiful. They've been trying to get in contact with you. And so this shit sent up a shit storm with um, this person uh, because they could have kicked you out of a house. This, If you were with this King of Pentacles, they could have kicked you out of a house, ghosted you to hook up with this gold digger. And then she had her lion ass friend, like maybe you moved into a house or something or rented a place, something like that. They were friends, they were buddies, they could have been in-laws, relatives, something like that. And so they got a whole group of people to attack you and make your life a living hell, all because this masculine wants something to do with you. And you may not even want anything to do with them, but they can't let you go. They can't move on from you. They're addicted to you. It's like they're obsessed with what you're doing, how you're doing it. They just can't let you go, even if they were non-committal to you before. Um, and they didn't want to commit to you, or they were shady, whatever the cause, whatever the reason... Um, you may not even want to deal with this person. You know, someone was in despair over an emotional situation. Um, so whatever this person did, they could have caused a really serious emotional situation for you, especially if you lived with this person and they tried to kick you out of a house. Maybe they owned the house, it could have been their house. They created a financial imbalance for you. So you may have been struggling financially. <clears throat> Um, they could have tried to take you to court. They could have lied to the court with the Knight of Wands here to create a financial injustice for you. They could have made false accusations against you. <clears throat> they were all up in their ego and emotions. Um, that could also be how they get their money, relationship scammer kind of thing. Um, or they just take advantage of people and they end up coming out ahead. Like, say this is someone who gets into a relationship. They could have cheated on you, King of Wands. They're a player, non-committal. There could be a judgment going in your favor against this person, or you are speaking some sort of truth about this. Um, this could be a judgment. Um, King of Swords, the truth being revealed about what this King of Wands did. Because you're innocent. You're innocent in a situation. Somebody lied about you, and there was a whole group of people attacking you, and you were innocent the whole time. You're moving on. You know, you, you have what it takes to get through this. You've been getting through it and you're going to come out ahead or at least back. I, I heard back to square one. And, um, so, I mean, you may be getting a new start or back, you know, you may have had to start over back to square one because of this. Um, so balance definitely has to be restored. Your innocence is putting a permanent ending to something because you are in a new cycle. So there's a permanent ending Somebody could have taken your innocence away or taken someone's innocence away. And I don't just mean like in a jail, like you, they could have been abusive towards you. Um, they could have been violent with you. Okay. And you know, that just could be who this person is. They could just have really violent tendencies and they could lash out at people. Um, when they find out who they really are, because they're very deceptive and man man manipulative with the cunning and the intention. They always seem to have bad intentions, this masculine energy, um, or this feminine, depending on, um, where this falls in this, where you fall in this situation. Um, you could have been dealing with the king or queen of pentacles in the reapers. But it's like they stole your innocence or took something from you. So um, to others, you may come across as jaded or you may even view yourself as jaded. But um, in reality, it was like shadow work. You know, you healed from something, you became stronger, you got tougher from whatever situation this was. But you shouldn't have had to go through it because it's very traumatizing and devastating. And someone may be having trouble figuring out how you're not traumatized or devastated and how you're not locked up in a mental institution because whatever they did and that could be part of the truth that's being revealed is someone may be finding out um 
what this King of Pentacles did, like this King of Cups that came out, they could be finding out what this King of Pentacles did to you, okay? And they, they're in disbelief. They could be in disbelief because normal people who would go through something that traumatic would end up needing like therapy and stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe some of you did go to therapy, maybe some of you healed on your own, but you seem to be doing fine. Whatever you went through, it doesn't show on the outside. You still have that appearance of, you know, you're still good. You know, you may have a smile still on your face. Someone who's very jealous with the Queen of Cups here. So there's a jealous, envious, feminine energy here. They're emotionally unstable. They're unbalanced. They were very upset when they discovered this communication. And this communication could have to do with money with the Nine of Pentacles. It could be because someone was obsessed with taking money or somebody felt like someone was giving um, a divine fire femme or masculine too much money they could have felt like someone was being taken advantage of when they were the gold digger so they could have been projecting their own insecurity like why are you giving this person money or why are you trying to help this person out the cycle is over there's an ending here because of someone's addiction or obsession you could have found out that they were dealing with um this queen of cups and you could have abandoned them they could have chosen this person over you but something ended and a cycle was closed out. And it could be that this feminine energy closed out a cycle. So it could be this Queen of Cups who um, <clears throat> closed out a cycle um, with a masculine here after finding this communication. Because there was communication regarding money and a loss of money. And somebody addicted or obsessed, they could have had some sort of addiction they were trying to pay for or spend money on. So your divine counterpart could have been mirroring your experiences, or th these could just be <clears throat> the same players, different emotions, you know what I mean? But, let's take a closer look and see. There could be up to like four different people in this situation um, <clears throat> because this queen of cups could have been married to the king of cups and then we had the um, queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles so maybe they're both emotionally unbalanced emotionally unstable so they could be the same couple or it could be two different couples because there was a whole group of people the group kept coming out so they could be um, couples within the same group so keep that in mind like a friends group or community and we have a, somebody here I want to get a couple more cards before I elaborate on that what does he have in his hand paper Someone may just be too stunned to speak. I'm just getting someone could just be too stunned to speak. How about something they found out? Like, speechless? I love catching people in the act. That's why I always whip open up doors. So someone could be at a loss for words about catching someone in the act doing something. They didn't think they were going to get caught, but someone got caught in the act. Hey, that's cool. You know, it's even cooler than a triceratops, every other dinosaur that existed. So somebody's not, somebody's acting like something's not a big deal. Whatever they got caught doing, they're very nonchalant about it. And they're very passive. Like, they're just acting like it's nothing. Like, it's like someone is just at a loss. Maybe they're just at a loss for words because they got caught and they're just not speaking about it. They're just not addressing it. It's like someone's trying to possibly start an altercation with them or fight with them and they're just not responding. They're not giving them the response that they want. Um, it's like somebody wants things to get physical. And it could be the person who saw this because whatever they found out, they were upset. They were shocked. But it's really bothering this person that someone is acting like it's no big deal. Someone is 
and control. Through concentration, I can raise and lower my cholesterol will. So someone is not giving them a reaction. And this could even be the group of people who's attacking somebody here. But someone is not giving anyone the reaction that they were expecting. They were trying to catch someone doing something here. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Because if so, you are succeeding. So someone's feelings got hurt when they found out this stuff. And they could have been attacking a divine femur masculine because of whatever they found out, but you're not giving them reaction and they want this reaction. There's a cord cutting that you did or that is happening or, or that you have to do or need to do. There's something cut. There's a severed tie here. You're not connected to this person. You're not dealing with them. So that's why you're not giving them a response because you're not emotionally attached. The cord has been cut. Okay. And someone is not liking that. I never smile when I can help it. Showing one's teeth is a submission signal in primate. So you're not showing anything. You're not giving anything away. You're not giving a reaction. They can't even read your body language is what I'm getting. All because somebody wanted to act immature. Because you know someone's just being childish. So you, you're not giving anyone the reaction that they're looking for. But they're trying to get one. They're trying to catch you reacting, trying to like press charges against you, something like someone's trying to set you up here because they know that this person was um, watching you. They think you're beautiful. They may want to come towards you. And this person is trying to stop the person that they're dealing with from coming towards you. But they also want to hurt you because they, I don't know. I don't know. You cut the cord. Like they're, the something is severed. It's over and done with. Um... But this person still feels like as long as you're around, they have to compete with you or something because this person can't let you go because they are literally obsessed with you. With checking up on you. Checking your platforms. Trying to contact you. This could have been like phone records, something. I don't know. Man. Whatever this person found, it really had them pissed off. And they were out for blood. It's me on the bobblehead. Someone's left looking like a fool. Okay. Because you're not emotionally unstable, they are. So whoever is attacking you is, um, you know, a little looped up in the head. You know, just because they would react a certain way doesn't mean you're going to act a certain way. It belonged to my grandfather. It was buried in it. So family heirloom. So somebody in your family could have been connected to this. They could have been acting immature. They could have been trying to trigger you. Um, it can also be that somebody was trying to steal something that was left to you, like a family heirloom and inheritance, something that was meant for you. Um, this could also be somebody who knows your family and your history, and maybe your family is known, or some of your family members said that you have an explosive temper, or maybe your family's known for that, or, you know, maybe they're known for not being mentally stable, something like that. And somebody who's trying to use that against you by trying to trigger you, provoke you, and to act immature. Yeah, they thought it was funny. Ah, humor, I have it too. So they thought this was funny. And you're just like, what the hell? What the fuck? Like, you know, like, you, you know, you just, huh? Like, someone's like, what the hell? It didn't work. <laughs> An important thing to remember, Jim, is we always have what is called the element of surprise. So something is going to be a surprise when this justice is being restored, balance is being restored. Your spirit team, your spirit guys, they, they have a surprise for these mofos. Um, your return to sender hit hard. It hit hard. And if they haven't seen it yet, they're about to. Because there's something really surprising that's about to happen. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's not going to be good for them. It's not going to be good. The right people know what's going on. Or they're going to. Someone left you out in the wilderness. They act, They didn't help you. They could have acted like they wanted to partner up with you. This is somebody who could, you could have thought was your partner. Or someone got left out in the wilderness that was partnered up with another person. So there could be, um... You know, trouble in paradise when it comes to a partnership here. People who could have partnered up to work against you. Somebody could have gotten left out in the cold because somebody doesn't want to do something anymore. They don't want to attack anymore. Someone's a prostitute. So there could have been somebody who was getting paid um, for sexual favors. They could have um, 
tried to say that you were the prostitute, and that's not true. So they got kicked out of a house. There's a prostitute here that could have gotten kicked out of a house. Or they um, said something that caused a couple to watch a house, to kick you out of a house. Somebody could have gotten kicked out of a house because they said you were a prostitute, but it was actually them that's a hooker or whatever. They were into some shady stuff. They could have said you were running, um, you know, a whorehouse. Something was just a show. Someone was just taking someone for a ride. Someone, like I said, could have um, been paid to do something. They partnered up, and it's like, okay, thank you for your services. We're done now. And so someone was pissed off because they wanted more than that. So someone, um, you know this thing, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. The hoe thought she was going to be a housewife. Okay. Um, and that's why she was so pissed off. This hoe really thought that she was going to be this masculine's wife or whatever. And he doesn't want anything to do with her. And so she started spreading rumors or talking shit possibly about a divine femme, um, or even about this masculine, whatever the case here. Somebody lied on someone and said they were a prostitute, but it was actually them, and they were just pissed off. So then they started doing spell work, so someone ghosted another person because they know that they were trying to poison them or do magic on them to try to take them out. So once this, um, whole energy got turned down, they started doing black magic or... Um, you know, this person didn't want to leave, and so, um, someone started doing black magic or, you know, casting spells on another person. <clears throat> someone definitely got ghosted because they were dabbling with some sort of witchcraft or voodoo, hoodoo, um, hexing, cursing something, death spells. Um, it could be a death spell because that's my end-all card for this one, like a permanent ending with a sandworm here. So, someone could be... Um, getting ready to meet their end because of some sort of spell work that they cast out could be backfiring. This person didn't want to help. Um, they can't, there is no help for this person because something was all for show. So they could have lied to a practitioner to do some sort of spell work or they did it themselves. And um, you ghosted somebody or someone ghosted another person and they're trying to just get out of a maze or find their way to get to, you know, their destination. It's like they're trying to find their way out of a situation. Someone here is trying to find a way out of the spell work that they sent out because it's backfiring because you did a return to sender. So this um, person who got ghosted could have been doing spell work on you once they found this communication, whatever. Whatever the case here, <laughs> the jaded person in this scenario, in this reading, started doing spell work after they got ghosted, or they got pissed off and ghosted this person when they realized that they w they didn't want to be with them, they wanted to be with you, but I'm strongly getting that um, the masculine, the king of pentacles, could have ghosted this person because they were just paying them for their services, like, okay, I no longer want you or need you, I'm done with you, um... You know, and, and uh, this really turned bad. And now someone's trying to find their way out of a situation because they did some spell work. People could be dropping like flies and they could know that they're next. So, or this person didn't know what they were doing when they were dabbling in this shit. They just did it out of spite to someone who didn't deserve it. And they racked up some karmic debt and they're in trouble, trouble, trouble. Someone's in a new cycle here. So you may have had to separate from a family. Someone's family or a gang. I look at this as either a family or a gang group association here. Um, so there's something significant about um, somebody getting left out in the cold, being put out on the street. So there's a gang here, a group of people that were trying to put someone out on the street, cause them to be homeless, um, possibly their entire family. They didn't want them to have anywhere to go. And they partnered up with someone to do this. So that this masculine wouldn't come towards them. Somebody that you partnered up with, their family could be like gangsters, mobsters, whatever. Um, you know, family run drug dealers, whatever. Um, 
whatever the situation is, you're in a new cycle, and um, but they want you to be kicked out. Someone's getting kicked out here. And so somebody that you were connected to, they have connections to a group of shady people. You could be spending some time alone or in hermit mode. Someone's taking a moment by themselves to get away from everyone and think about something. Someone's reflecting. Possibly about how they put you out on the street. Um, if they did this to you for this person or um, how you ended up out on the street. So because of, in, this could have been you having to juggle because of a past partner or your own family. This could have been your own family that turned against you as well that caused you to be juggling and you could just be separated and isolated from yourself because maybe you don't have anywhere to go. <clears throat> but you're going to be moving and traveling and the reason that you were juggling is because people were working to cause you these heavy burdens. So for a divine femme or masculine... Not only do you have a group of people here and somebody that you were connected to attacking you and, you know, their baby mama, whatever, like, you had, like, a whole shit storm of problems coming at you. All because of someone that you dated or were in a relationship with and, you know, the hoe that wanted to be a housewife, um, that thought she was you, that <laughs> thought she could take your place, um, and then you had your own family coming up against you trying to break up, you know, relationships, attack you, put you out on the street. You had to juggle a lot of shit, okay? No joke. Those burdens are no joke. This is not a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. You were literally being attacked from, like, every angle. Oh, there's a masculine that's getting ghosted. Or that's ghosting someone here because of the picture that was painted. So someone painted a picture, and whatever narrative they created, whatever picture they painted, it's bullshit. It's all lies. So, and it could be that Queen of Swords. So, that feminine energy that wanted this masculine so bad. You know, the hoe who wanted to be the housewife. She lied to him. She lied to a group of people. And he's ghosting her, and he doesn't want anything to do with her. Someone is reflecting... They're reflecting on what they did to a family here. Because they chose Lusty Busty and chose to cause you heavy burdens and tried to stop you from rebuilding. So there's a group of people here or somebody that's reflecting about their lustful behaviors, what actions they took to cause you harm by choosing someone else over you and bringing all these burdens to you. And, you know, a home could have gotten split up. Your family could have gotten split up. You could have been homeless out on the street because someone had, someone didn't help you. Someone's trying to get grounded. Someone's trying to get their footing. They're trying to get grounded. Um, you could also be standing firm. You could be grounded and you're standing firm in you, yourself, what you do, what you stand for. Um, you know, you're unmovable, unshakable. You know, you're as steady as a tree. Man, you're stuck. You're rooted. You're grounded. Um, someone may need to get grounded. Someone could be trying to get grounded. Um, but someone is reflecting on how grounded you are. How stable you are. Because there were a lot of people saying that you were unstable. That you were the crazy one. Meanwhile, they were trying to make you crazy. Like, literally, try to make you go crazy by attacking you. And they had their friends doing this. So somebody's friend was involved. Or somebody that they thought was a friend. So somebody's friend was involved in something. Yeah, someone's getting burned by the deal that they made. Someone made a bad deal. Yeah. Because now they want to partner up. Somebody wants to partner up with you. So there's a masculine that ghosted a group of people. They walked away from this person. They want to partner up with you, but they're stuck coming towards you because it could be that they painted a picture about you, a bad picture about you, but they want to partner up with you and work with you. They, they want to work with you, partner up with you. Somebody does. And it could be the King of Cups, so, um, you know, it could be the King of Pentacles that wants to come back as the King of Cups, or this could be two separate masculine energies. 
Um, and it also could be, like I said, there's two groups of people. So the King of Cups could be friends with the King of Pentacles and they know each other. They could be buddies. Someone's walking away from a group of people because they want to come partner up with you, but they're stuck in it, swimming in this quicksand because you may know that they partnered up with these people to work against you. So they got issues. We have that high priest, high priestess energy here. <clears throat> so you're the real deal. I mean, you're, you know, whoever you are in the upright, you are not the person to be fucked with. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just because you don't advertise it or because they didn't want to see it, whatever your circumstances were, you were not to be played with. And someone's watching you, like someone who's very pissed off, jealous of you, out to get you. They're watching you because they were not someone's wish fulfillment. So they could have already been ghosted and they've been stalking the shit out of you ever since. What makes her so special? What makes them so special? That's what I'm hearing. It's like someone's really pissed off. That they didn't have a positive outcome. And you do have a positive outcome. You definitely have something positive going in your favor. And this witch is pissed about it. Someone got the message of concern. Someone got a, a message that they celebrated something too quick. And they are pissed. They're pissed. And that could be that gold digger energy who was expecting to get some sort of money. And they're pissed to find out they're not getting shit. Cam Turner went to a house. And this could even be um, another the other married couple that were trying to extort you or blackmail you for money or something. There's something very shocking. There's an emperor here that is finding out something very shocking about what somebody did. And this person could be, you know, somebody who is respectable. They want to be loyal to you. They're shocked to find out that somebody intentionally put you out in the wilderness and they've been fighting with you and they've been sending their flying monkeys and that they are flying monkeys. Somebody that they were dealing with or partnered up with is a flying monkey and they had no idea that somebody was out to get you and everything they did to hurt you. Like, and they're watching. They're waiting. They're like, they're just... They're psycho, man. This person is crazy. Because somebody wants to be loyal to you, and there's someone here who is just really not happy about it. And somebody wants to give you a gift that fell on the floor, so someone is really not happy about you receiving a gift or, you know, getting a gift. Because somebody lied about you. They lied about you. Someone lied. And they really wanted people to believe these lies. Could have been a coworker that you worked with. And that was lying. You won't be surprised. <laughs> You won't be surprised. You will not be because you are an authentic teacher, preacher, prophet. You are the high priestess. So um, you will not be surprised to find out that someone was meeting up with someone secretly because you, you already got your downloads. You already know someone was in bad health or someone's health has been affected. They were trying to look at. Okay, so <clears throat> someone needs a balanced diet in the reverse. Secret society, religious group, cult involved. Yep. And then looking at your photo in the reverse. Somebody was doing death spells, beauty magic. They were trying to affect your health. They were using your photo to do some sort of dark magic. And there's a cult here. And they were trying to put you in bad health by um, possibly limiting what you could eat. If you were in poverty, maybe you've had to eat a lot of junk food. Food. They wanted to cause you inflammation. They wanted you to blow up. Um, like gain a lot of weight. Um, develop all these health issues. You could have been in perfect health 
and maybe just all of a sudden out of the blue maybe you started having health issues or they wanted you to have health issues but you're not experiencing what they thought you were going to be experiencing and now they're scared shitless because they know it's gonna go back to them i'm telling you your return to sender hit on point and you could be experiencing this or seeing this in about one to two weeks something significant is going to be happening in one to two weeks and for some of you, 9 to 12 months, something significant is going to be happening. Uh, I just got someone maybe giving birth to someone in jail. So someone who's pregnant maybe ended up, may be ending up giving birth in jail because they may be getting locked up for some illegal shit that they did. Somebody didn't change. They're still the same. They're throwing rocks, hiding hands. You need to up your spiritual protection, or you did. This person says they never cheated on you. This person was never faithful to you. They're a player. They're always going to be a player. They said they only wanted you. And they know they're going to be passing soon. They were You were scammed. These people are thieves. It's like the, there's these two couples. It's like, I, I feel like these are two different couples. They're watching you. They're eavesdropping. They could have listening devices in your home. Someone doesn't know they're being watched. And you're pissing them off, making me angry because you're multitasking. They're trying to find out your secrets. They're being controlled by spirits here. And you got that WAP at big package energy. So, man, they're really not happy about you because you're still looking good, smelling good, feeling good. <clears throat> Maybe you need to go treat yourself. Someone's going to kick the bucket. Someone's definitely going to kick the bucket. They were doing death spells, death magic. They have to bite the bullet. Almighty dollar. All they cared about was the almighty dollar. It could be the masculine or feminine energy here, but someone's going to kick the bucket. Someone who is a bad person. There was no equal give and take. They just wanted to take. And especially when it came to money and finances, they wanted to take everything from another person. You know, they trapped someone to take everything from them. There was never an equal give and take. Somebody was trying to trap someone, keep them from being set free, keep them from moving on, cause heavy burdens. If the shoe fits, something just makes perfect, something just makes sense here. Um, so if the shoe fits, so something is exactly... Um, how it appears beggars can't be choosers they wanted you begging out on the street they wanted to rob you perfect storm that's that tower moment that's coming and they created this for themselves they went broke so they went broke they went for broke they they put their all into this cute as a button and chip off the old block this is really weird Someone's family member thinks you're cute as a button. So someone someone in someone's family is attracted to you. That may be why someone is upset as well. Like um that you know if if these if these are two married couples or whatever and say you were in a relationship with one and then someone started attacking you. I said someone could be someone's in-law or related or, you know, something like that. Um, the other masculine may be the psycho bitch's uh, brother, okay? And uh, maybe this person wants to be with you, you know, if you're a divine femme. So, <laughs> oh, this is a whole shit storm. Yeah, someone's family member thinks you're cute. They're attracted to you. And that did not make this person happy either, because not only did the person that they wanted to lock down keep them trapped, you know, because they're a gold digger, they wanted to use someone for money, it didn't work, this hoe energy. Um, then they could have found out that their family member was attracted to you too, and this person could have lost their shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah. But karma's a bitch, man. You're working hard. And you're getting a clean slate. A Taurus? 
Oh, somebody could be missing you in May. May could be significant. Or Taurus is missing you in May. Oh, or they're gonna be. <laughs> it's like every... Oh my god. You know that line in 10 Things I Hate About You where the guy's like, What's up with this chick? Does she have beer flavored nipples? Like, that's what this, this, this witchy energy, like, that's what it, it's like that. Like, this, this female is just so pissed because she's like, What is it about this girl? She's nothing. I'm better than them. Like, like, she is just pissed beyond pissed. And she's like, What? What does she have? Well, you got that wild big package energy. Like, that's what <laughs> you have that sexual aura around you. And, you know, when you're high vibrational like that, and you, when you're in your high priest, high priestess energy, it doesn't matter if you're walking around in a burlap bag, your energy, it just catches the attention. It doesn't matter if you look like you haven't washed your hair in a week, whatever. Like, people still want to sleep with you. People are, they're attracted to you. That's just your aura. Like, they're naturally attracted to you. You're like a magnet right now. And this person is pissed off. Like, beyond pissed. Oh, man. She, thought, she should have thought twice before doing spell work on you, whether it's her or him. Mm. Someone was expecting someone to live under the same roof as them, and it was a wild goose chase because they're having memories about someone else. So... You know, like I said, I wanted to be a housewife, and she wanted to live under the same roof as this masculine. And, um, you know, she had her 15 minutes of fame. You know, he got his use out of her. You know, like I said, he paid for his services. Now he's done. <laughs> oh, she is pissed. It's only a matter of time here. Cancer could be significant on a Saturday night. Oh... Someone's brought themselves under judgment here. They're chomping at the bit because you know how to think outside the box and you're creative and they're not creative. Like, they're just not, they can't compete with you. Like, someone is chomping at the bit also possibly because they're trying to get creative in how to approach you. Judgment has been called because they didn't love you in the past. So, um, and they, you know... Someone could be trying to get creative on how to keep this masculine because they're chomping at the bit to come to you and this bitch is chomping at the bit to keep this man, but there's no love. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no love. And then someone has one foot in the grave here and they are currently spinning their wheels. Like they are losing their ever-loving mind. Someone's getting a wake-up call, though, or some somebody could be calling in the morning. Someone's getting a wake-up call. Uh, someone did not have the wisdom of the ages, and that they're going to jail. And this is, someone's going in their worst nightmare, and they're really sad. They didn't want to see eye-to-eye -eye with you, Capricorn here. They wanted you to be poor as a church mouse. They thought they were a force of nature, but you reap what you sow. Once again, they brought themselves under judgment, and a Gemini, back to square one. Alright, person, place, or thing. Letter K could be significant. KO. You just got knocked the fuck out. Something is over. Over, over. T. TKO, what did I say? <laughs> Someone got technically knocked out. Hopefully that's not for real, for real, like... I said something could get physical, okay? So be careful not to start an altercation. If you want an altercation, you might not like how it turns out. Um, you. Someone wants to knock you out, but that's not how it's going down, okay? Or Q. <laughs> that before. I don't know what QUR means, but QUR could be significant. 
I've heard that before, but I don't know what it means. Shoe you are. Oh. I, Kiro. <laughs> Yo, Kiro, Taco Bell. Somebody wants Taco Bell, somebody wants you. Someone wants to knock someone out because they want you. Another eye. Yeah, someone's watching. They're watching. T. Get it. Someone's watching because they want to come get it. <laughs> I told you you got that Watt Big Package energy. Someone, it's like they can't resist you. It's like they're obsessed with your stuff. Okay. All right. So we have TKO. Q U I R O G I T. So go get you some. I hope this helps. Have a good day.